wonderful presentation and please accept my annual thanks to the organizers and managers who made this um, astounding ceremony happen on this very first day of October. So in my presentation, I will be giving information about pre-college program. Not only that, I am standing here to inspire youths and of course, uh, the success stories of PCB will be covered along my presentation. So yes, let's dive into my presentation. I initiate with a very simple question, what is PCB? As you all know, PCB is a flourishing sector under PIU, Pangdao International University. I would proudly say PCB is home to confident, independent, and responsible citizens who are doing contributions in their respective communities throughout Myanmar. And in here in PCB, we have uh, two sectors. The first thing is we mainly focus on the academic subjects, and during the night and long period, the students, they need to study very hard to be able to gain uh, knowledge dealing with social science especially. Um, every PCP student has an opportunity to take IELTS exam at the end of the program. That is why the program provides academic English lectures throughout the program. So that is the uh, benefits of joining pre-college program here in Pangdao. And the second sector is PCP is not only focused on academic things, our main target is to produce future leaders. That is why at the end of the program, the students, they need to do service learning, especially teaching in different regions um, throughout Myanmar if we have stable political situation. So that is the brief overview about PCP. And the next thing is our uh, vision. So here at PCP, uh, we provide we provide the opportunities to pursue in-depth studies. So that is one of our core values to provide students to prepare for them to be able to do higher education in another countries, especially countries in the ASEAN, and of course we have our proud students in European countries, and of course in the I would say in the United States as well. And another thing is um, the program cultivates political and social knowledge as well. We are now living in information and technology age. That is why knowing only academic is not enough. That is why the program is designed systematically to provide political and social knowledge for all the youths. And now let's learn uh, what we aim our mission. So our mission is to develop students' skills, abilities, and of course, language qualifications. And not the thing that we cannot leave here is confidence. So use of today, we are now um, fully and we are now pursuing education to be able to lead in our communities. That is why we cannot leave 21st century skills, let's say essential five C's, which are critical thinking and problem solving, communication, collaboration, creativity, and citizenship skills. So while you are at PCB, you will be um, systematically and uh, you will be happily learning about these kind of skills. And another thing is to shape AIR. So let me please invite the audiences. What do you think the idea of AIR? Is there anyone who would like to give it a try? Um, AIR is an acronym and each letter has meaning. So is there anyone who would like to give it a try? Yes. For me, um, you are quite close. And R stands for responsible. So our main focus is to shape our students to meet with AIR. So all the students at PCP are trying their best to be active, informed, and responsible citizens who are going to lead in their respective communities for the good sake of, for the development of our country. Yes, that is our mission. And, okay, so now let's look the history of PCB. So I would again proudly mention, it has been 10 years that PCB has rooted on this ground of PI PDO. Um, and special thanks to teacher Ishui Zin because of her, we are now accessible to, you see, a variety of facilities. We have uh, qualified lecturers locally, globally, and of course we have a lot of 
opportunities to conduct uh, during class time and of course outside the class as well. And during the years, uh, PCP has successfully produced over 200 trainers who are now pursuing their higher education in other countries and some of them are doing serving in their respective communities to be leaders. And another thing is, um, as we all know, our program is Pomoji's Third Dream. And now we, current PCP students, we made up our mind that we have responsibility. We made up our mind and that we have the responsibility to shape PCP more mature and to shape, to strengthen the activities and of course uh, the, you see, abilities that PCP can contribute not only to PDO but also to the local community. If we could dream, we could contribute to the global. And now let's celebrate some success stories that PCP had had. Firstly, in terms of academic field, um, we have like proud alumni who are doing their PhD degree, who are doing their master degree, and of course who are doing their diploma studies in, uh, far in other countries, such as Australia, New Zealand. Not only that, uh, more than 20 students are doing their uh, wonderful quality education in uh, EU countries and of course in Southeast Asian countries. So yeah, that is our achievement and so as I mentioned about, PCP is not only about academic things, we mainly focus on community engagement. So let's see. So in community engagement, um, over 150 alumni, they are now doing contributions in our local community. Not only that, we have five community-based programs which are managed by our proud uh, PCB alumni. As a very obvious example, we have written program, and of course we have diploma in English led by our video teacher May, and of course we have activity education group led by Sia Amyendu, and of course we have quality education project which is in Chamu, and another thing is we have NTPC, which is a youth development program based in uh, Ho Pong in southern Shen State. So I would say that program would be a hub for those of youth who are living in that isolated area that's in Ho Pong in southern Shen State. Let me please continue. And another thing is two of our proud alumni, they are now the representatives of Trash Hero, which is kind of a very effective and like community-based project for the environment. And last but not least, the rest of the alumni, what are they doing? So they devote their time, effort, and enthusiasm uh, to MEDG, which means Myanmar Monastic Education Development Group. So these are the proof that uh, the, the PCP program, they were responsible for the students. So what about for us? The students, we need to be like that, and this will be inspirations not only for the current PCP students, but also for you here, or the audiences. And now, let's go to, yeah, our three um, heroes, I will say. I probably mentioned, firstly, I'm yeah, um, sorry. Firstly, Sia Amindu, uh, who used to be our program manager for PCB batch 5 and 6. He is now doing his master's degree in the United States as a Fulbright Scholarship winner. So, he is a proof that we can do if with the language and the abilities that the PCB imparted us. And another one, secondly, we have teacher Shang Wei Zhong, who is currently joining his colleagues in the uh, YCV Academy Fellowship Program in the United States. So he is now also promoted to China Dreams um, organization, I would say. So he is also a PCB alumni, and of course he served as a program manager for batch 7, 8, and 9. Thirdly, we have our teacher Chris. So I want to mention teacher Chris the energy of PCB. He is very energetic and also, how can I say, he always motivated us uh, to believe in ourselves that we can do it if we are really enthusiastic and if we are really needy. Yeah? So that is our current and program manager. So these three, they sat for the PCP with the knowledge and the skills they had gained during the academic years at PCP. And now, let's go to student life. So this will be the most um, interesting part in my presentation because you will be interested about
about what would student like like at PCB. So uh, I would say PCB is uh, mainly focused on student abilities, students' positions, and students' efforts. So we have student council here at PCB. So student council is kind of like I would say that the most authoritative body after the program manager and the lecturers because the student council members they have uh, the chances and the opportunities to talk with the program manager, to talk with the students, and of course to talk with um, the staff member as well. So the student council is comprised of these five members. Uh, we have class president, academic coordinator, um, treasurer, librarian, and the general officer. So if you were a member of this student council, you would be, uh, let's say, uh, like denoting yourself, I was very lucky because that, that would be the moment of your life which gives you um, the valuable opportunities that you can apply again in your real life. I also used to be at the member of student council and I used to serve as an academic coordinator. At the time, I handled with a lot of difficulties. However, I found opportunities among difficulties. So if you um, have a dream to apply at PCB, don't forget to compete for this um, role. And let me please mention again, if you want to be this kind of positions, you need to give a speech in front of the class. So, you see, that also motivates you to um, practice your public speaking skill, communication skills, collaboration skills, and a lot. And let's go to the activities we do here in PCB. So, this is the things that we uh, manage this year significantly. So, what we let and manage for PDO, Firstly, PDO essay competition, which was, um, I think, that was successfully launched last month. So that program was led by um, the Chakris, and of course, we PCB students uh, did volunteer at that competition. So during that competition, we need to talk a lot with the children, and of course, with the teachers uh, from different departments. So that is, you see, real life opportunities for all of us to shape our skills, to sharpen our passion, and it also like give chances to find ourselves what we really want to be. Yeah. The second thing is fundraising project. So that is a student-led um, making money project, I would say. So during that project, we uh, provided delicious and fancy food with reasonable prizes. So I would say that is kind of like a very realistic lecture for our life because no one can live without making money. That is why. This project, this project taught us a lot, uh, like how to make money, and of course taught us how to live in real life uh, by having a lot of stresses to be able to survive every day. The last one is PIU debate tournament. That is the one that has recently carried out here, and we would say that tournament is the tournament means a lot, meant a lot for us because we learned a lot from that tournament. That is not only the big thing, but also sharpen to have strong mental health, to have strong abilities, and of course, learn, uh, taught us a lot of social things that we usually need to face in real life. Yes? Now, let's go to academic thing. So, as I mentioned, uh, PCB is kind of like a social science and humanity programs. Uh, most of the subjects will be related to social sciences. However, you have a chance to learn about environment things. And of course, you have a chance to learn about international relations. The most significant thing is IELTS. As I mentioned, every student at PCB, they has an opportunity to take IELTS test at the end of the program. That is why we all were intensively trained during the program uh, to take IELTS. Now, let's go to another slide, which is about why you should apply PCB. So, so far I have uh, mentioned a lot about the history and of course the activities we conducted and I have some constructive reasons to motivate you to apply PCB next year. The first one, student-led learning program. Every student at PCB, we all have ability to do what we really want to do. So the program will impact you, the skills, abilities, and all of needed, um, I would say, facilities to find yourself, to, to define yourself, and also to shape yourself. Another thing is that relevant subjects and qualified lecturers, and followed by intensive but rewarding student life, I would say, you would be doublessly tiring and doublessly uh, 
support from depression along with the program. However, that is totally rewarded after you have completed the program. Another thing is, yeah, as I mentioned, when you deal with the, uh, like stresses and depression, your mental health would be automatically strong and that is your chance to take opportunities among difficulties. So I probably present our alumni here, yes. So they are now uh, doing community work in respective communities, and some of them are pursuing their uh, quality education in different countries throughout the world. Yeah, so now let's go to upcoming contributions. So significantly this year, our program won a grant project, which is we are going to like uh, deliver citizenship education to four different villages starting from tomorrow. Actually, our term break is start from tomorrow. However, we do not take a rest during the term break. Instead, we will be delivering and we will be like uh, providing active citizenship education in English languages to those children who are in isolated area. That is one of our contributions to the community. And that is why I would say PCB is not only focused on academic things. Our main focus is to produce leaders who could actually contribute to their community, not the state. Now, last but not least, contribution to PIU. As I have mentioned, PCB is a flourishing sector at uh, Pound Oak International University. We consider ourselves that we are responsible. And of course, that is our core duty to contribute to PIU. That is why we are now, you see, trying our best. And of course, we learn from mistakes. And one thing we consider is that um, sometimes life isn't fair. However, we could find the benefits and we could find the bright side during the darkness. Yes, so that is our, um, I'm not sure you could see very clearly. This is a really memorable hit, a memorable photo when we are conducting essay competition here in the Sunita Hall. Yes. Now I'd like to introduce with a motto from Nelson Mandela. He said, youths are the leaders of tomorrow. However, we PCB students deny with that statement because we believe that youth are the leaders of today. They can be the leaders of today because we strongly believe if we really matter, if we have enthusiasm, everything can be happen. Yes? So it is all about my presentation. Thank you so much for your attention and all of your questions are warmly welcome.